Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show. I'm Meg Morrison. And I'm Mark Kennedy, and today we are on the road at the beautiful Kananaskis Country Golf Course. Just six years ago, Kananaskis was devastated with massive flooding, which led to a complete course rebuild. The 36 holes which make up the Kananaskis Country Golf Course, comprising of 18 on Mount Kidd and 18 on Mount Lorette, have since been perfectly sculpted back into place, leading to their reopening in 2018. Last season saw T-sheet sellouts throughout the summer. 2019 is no different. This is a must play for all Albertans. Our guest today is known for wearing the red and white, both as a longtime member of the Calgary Flames and as a regular for Team Canada, NHL defenseman Robin Regeer. Robin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for coming out here. I'm sure it wasn't much of a chore, though, to come out to Kananaskis. <laughs> no chore at all, and actually, uh, I'm really excited because uh, if an ex-hockey player can't beat a curler, then uh, there's, something, there's oh, something wrong with the world. I was going to say, I saw you on the range, and you look like you can golf, so this could be a bit of a challenge today. Well, I'll say this. I don't have uh, goal scorer's hands, so uh, when I get near the green, it can be a little bit of a challenge, but uh, we'll see what happens. You're going to fit right in. We're starting <laughs> off hot this morning. I love it. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, we're going to head out to number 15 here at Kananaskis. On the way there, we're going to get to know more about you, Robin. Here is Teed Up, brought to you by the Golf Cart People. All right, as we make our way to the first hole here, you've had a lot of hockey fights. Who did you least look forward to matching up against? Zidane Ocharo, for sure. Ooh, big boy. Gave up uh, six inches, and uh, he is a very, very strong individual, so. Yikes. Yeah. Who is your favorite coach to play for? I'd have to say Daryl Sutter, because I uh, really had the most success with him both in, uh, in Calgary and then eventually the uh, Stanley Cup in uh, Los Angeles in 2014. Favorite road arena to play in? Oh, I'd have to say probably Toronto. You know, Saturday night, hockey night in Canada, you're, you're playing in, in Toronto. That was a, it was a dream come true. You know, that's, as a kid, that's, uh, that's what you think about when you're playing road hockey. Are those all your real teeth? Yeah, actually, no they are. Yeah, believe it or not, they are. Uh, I've got a bit of an illegal curve to my uh, to my nose, but they are my real <laughs> teeth. Yeah. Now it's time for the pro tip with Bob Paley, head pro here at Kananaskis. What do you have for us today? I don't have a voice, so I apologize, but this is on you now. Thanks, you Meg. Have to talk. Thank you very much. <laughs> what I wanted to talk to everybody about today is uh, is a sense of feel and touch around the greens. Something that. Uh, a lot of people acknowledge, you hear about it on TV, that so-and-so has a great uh, sense of touch around the greens and feel, and I think a lot of people feel like it's just a God-given thing, and it isn't. It's like anything else in the game of golf. It's a skill and something that you all can learn and practice at home. So what we're gonna do is, is the premise of the drill is, is to take, take vision out of, uh, out of the putting stroke. And as human beings, we all use vision uh, for feedback in our daily lives. When you take that sense of vision away, what can happen is, is your other senses heighten. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here in the putting green, is if we take that sense of vision away, you're gonna get a sense of touch and feel as to how hard it is you need to hit both a putt and a chip. This is a wonderful drill that you can use, especially if you're going from one course to the next course, different speeds of greens. This is a great thing to practice before uh, you get onto the green. So I'm gonna show you how this, uh, this drill works here. So when I'm in this address position here, what I'm doing is, is I'm closing this left eye. I want to make sure that I've got no peripheral vision, that I can't cheat myself, and that I'm not using that sense of sight. And what you're going to find is, is when you're doing this, you're going to find as soon as you hit that putt, it's just automatic. You're going to want to have a look and you're going to want to see where the ball goes. You've got to stop and you've got to fight that. So you're going to keep this left eye closed, or of course if you're a left-handed putter, you're going to close your right eye. So as a right-handed putter, I'm gonna close this eye, and I'm aiming for this third club here. That's where I'm gonna to go to. And I'm gonna hit my putt, and without looking, I'm gonna say whether I feel that's long, short, or at the club, and I feel like that's just a little bit short of that third club. So now I'll open and have a look. Sure enough, I'm a little bit short, just like I thought. So then I'll have another putt, close that eye again, and I'm gonna to try to get to that third club. I'm gonna to try to hit it just a little bit harder. And I feel like I did, I'm gonna look again. I'm right out where it is. And one of the wonderful things about this drill is that you'll find, you'll, you'll identify what your tendencies are. If you're always short, 
you'll find that with this, yeah, I'm always short. And by doing this drill, you can turn up that internal thermometer. So if you're always short, you gotta hit it a little bit harder. If you're always long, dial it back a little bit. And again, as I said, this wonderful for, for putting and for chipping, and it's an amazing short game drill that I think everybody's gonna find very beneficial. And you were right, that one was harder. It just got held up because it hit the other one. You just have really great line. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good to know. That's a Good great tip. Thank you Thanks, so man. much, Bob. What we're going to do is we're going to putt from here as we play our first hole. First, we'll take a break to do that. We'll be right back here on the Pro-Am Golf Show. From a start of 22 carts in 1997 to becoming Western Canada's largest club car dealer, you know you're in good hands with the golf cart people. Whether it's on the course, at the lake, or just for the fun of it, the golf cart people are equipped to meet your needs from sales, service, parts, customized accessories, and rentals. We'll suit you up with a newer used cart or go the extra mile in a fully customized beauty sure to turn heads. The Golf Cart People, driving the future. Offering one of the most spectacular and accessible destination golf experiences in Alberta, Kananaskis Country Golf Course is the home of world-class yet easy-going mountain golf. With two 18-hole course layouts, Mount Kidd and Mount Lorette, Kananaskis Country Golf Course is better than ever after an incredible full course restoration. Offering preferential rates for Albertans since 1983, come see it for yourself. KananaskisGolf.com Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here in Kananaskis Country with retired NHL defenseman Robin Regeer. And he's an intimidating force on the ice. Are you as intimidating on the golf course? Not on the putting green. No? That's for sure. No. This is a double breaker. I, th I think it breaks towards the water. Is that how you play mountain golf? We're going to find out. Yeah, and there's always water somewhere. All right, let's get to it. This is the first hole. It's brought to you by Bablets Wealth Management. So Mark, choose the short straw. He has to go first and show us the line. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully he's got some feel. Don't be afraid to close your eye. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna try this tip. See if this works. I can't see anything. That's oh, a good. I feel like I'm that's short. That's good. I'm not. You're way off. It shows You're how long. much feel I have. <laughs> oh, my feet are going down. You gotta close that eye. It, it yeah, works. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, here we go. That's a rocket. Oh, I feel like I went long. <laughs> I looked, though. <laughs> Are you doing the eye closing thing? Uh, no, because I need all the help I can get here. So uh, I'm just going to wing it. Speaking of sandbaggers. Look at this. Get out of here. Oh. Good putt. <laughs> Good putt. Are, are you used to that, that someone gets closer to the, to the hole or the button than, than you, or what? In golf, yes. Yeah? OK. <laughs> yeah. Not in curling. Robin, I know there's a cool story behind how you got your putter, and uh, I thought it was something that our viewers and golf fans around Canada would like to hear. For sure. So, um, a friend of mine, Ryan Danberg in Saskatchewan, uh, knows Graham Dillette, and uh, Ryan mentioned to me that uh, Graham is, uh, is a huge Flames fan. So, when he was playing on tour, he would use a uh, Flames, uh, Calgary Flames ball marker. And so Ryan and Graham got together and, and uh, they came out for a Flames game. And so I uh, hung out with them after the game a little bit, showed them around, uh, went out for beer. And uh, about two or three months later, I get a phone call from, uh, from Ryan. And he says, you know, there's a, there's a package here that uh, Graham sent you. And so I didn't know what it was and Ryan wouldn't tell me. So uh, I finally got it and opened it up and there it was, a Scotty Cameron putter that uh, has my name and number on there. But also has the flames colors with the uh, the red and, and orange on there. Wow, that's pretty cool. I want to talk to you a little bit about your early life. I know that you were born in Brazil, and then you lived in Indonesia after that, is that correct? Yes. And then you came to Canada at seven, started hockey, but are you the only person to ever be held back a year in hockey? I didn't even know that that was possible. Well, uh, we're, uh, so my brother, Richie, also played in the NHL a little bit, and we're the only brothers to both be born in the southern hemisphere and and play so there's a little trivia there for you, you yeah if awesome. you're staying at home uh, but uh, yeah when we when we got back 
uh, we were a little bit behind because we, we had been traveling. And, uh, you know, I kind of just fell in where, where, where I was. And then I, I got to really love the sport. So it really, it doesn't matter where you start, I think is probably the, the best way to describe it. If, if a person, uh, whether your child or a person really, really in, enjoys something, sport, uh, they're gonna grab a hold of it and, and they're gonna go and, and that's what I did. Are you gonna feel this one out with an eye closed or are you gonna? I feel like that's dicey, don't you? I don't know. I feel like that tip is gonna work. Like that. Nice. Wow. Just like that. Okay. Solid. I'm gonna give you your putt. So Mark lost this hole essentially, <laughs> but because it's two tie all tie, it'll be a push. That sound I, good to everybody? I, yeah, yeah I think good. I think he's used to losing, is he not? Yeah. And, on this yeah. show, I am, yeah. Yeah, I'll be the last Olympics go for you. Oh. Ooh. Hey, he's wow. an Olympian too that had a not so great oh. experience, so oh. you gotta be careful here. I've never been there, <laughs> even as a spectator. All right, that's it for the first hole. It's a push. We're gonna play the second hole. Before we do that, here's a look at making the cut. It's brought to you by the ATV Classic, August 5th through 11th at the Country Hills Golf Club in Calgary. After two full seasons on the McKenzie Tour, former two-time World Long Drive champion Jamie Sedlowski has transitioned well into a full-time tour pro. Earlier this year in Q School, Sedlowski made 19 birdies and an eagle during the week at Wigwam Resort, finishing the event at 12 under par to place alone in third, earning him exempt status through the first half of the 2019 McKenzie Tour season. Watch for Jamie this August at the ATB Classic at Country Hills. This is Golf TV. Live streaming. Every PGA Tour event. Absolutely majestic. PGA Tour Live featured holes and groups. Highlights and replays. And exclusive content with Tiger Woods. Very impressive. This is golf. This is Golf TV. Offering one of the most spectacular and accessible destination golf experiences in Alberta, Kananaskis Country Golf Course is the home of world-class yet easy-going mountain golf. With two 18-hole course layouts, Mount Kidd and Mount Lorette, Kananaskis Country Golf Course is better than ever after an incredible full-course restoration. Offering preferential rates for Albertans since 1983, come see it for yourself, KananaskisGolf.com. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here today at the Kananaskis Country Golf Course with NHL Stanley Cup champion, Robin Regeer. You were the best one on that last hole, even that you, you said that you weren't the best putter. Well, I'm coachable, I think, is, is what I like to think. <laughs> and uh, I was out on the, on the range a little bit, got here early. Uh, got on the putting green and uh, that that helped. Last, and you last got to watch our putts. Yeah, and, and last minute cramming. I'm really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Just made a career out of that. Yeah. Okay, this is the second hole that we're going to play today. It's a par three, so more short game ahead of us. Let's get to it. This is the second hole. This isn't a very easy shot. There's a lot to look at here. We have a snow-capped mountain. We have a river. And your ball could easily find one of the two. How many swing thoughts do you, do you have? That's that's my question. Too many? Way too many. And I think you just made it worse. <laughs> that's what I was trying. <laughs> oh. No. That's looking pretty good. Sit. Nice oh, shot. Dancing. Very nice Must shot. Must have had just the right swing thought. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Mark. Thanks. Your turn, Ron. All right. <laughs> What's your swing thought? Well, you know what? Um, you put a pretty nice one out there, and uh, all I want to do is uh, try to get inside that a little bit. So you're feeling the pressure is what you're saying? I am, yeah. From a curler. Oh, good swing. Oh my goodness, look at this. He's got a chance. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Nicely done. Very How's interesting. Very nice. Yeah, I got it. That was, that was Pressure's nice. on someone else now. Awesome. I know what your swing thought is. Don't shank it in the water. You know, and you guys are tight on and there. there's two on the green. Oh, okay. Pressure's on. 
There it is. Get up there. Gotta get go. Up there. There. go. Get up. Go. Oh, yeah. Go. OK. Oh, I got some more work to do, but I can easily sink that chip. Robin, at 19 years old, you were involved in a tragic car accident uh, where you actually broke both of your legs. Um, but amazingly enough, we're able to come back and play uh, four months later. Can you, can you tell us how, how you were able to come back so quickly? Yeah, so, um, you know, unfortunately we were, uh, we were traveling on the highway I was driving, uh, my 1976 Nova, and my older brother was in the front passenger seat, and uh, we had two friends in the back, Natalie and uh, Stephanie, and we were, we were hit head on uh, on the highway by uh, what ended up being a drunk driver. And uh, it was, it's a very sad story because the, the driver and the, and the front passenger of the 86 Ford Tempo that hit us uh, both passed away. All eight people were uh, 18 to 21 years old. And so uh, it was a very uh, major event in, in my life. And uh, going through something like that, that, uh, that difficult, both mentally and physically, uh, really, I think, helped me later on in, in life. And so, um, you know, whether it was perspective or, you know, taking advantage of opportunities because, you know, you, you come close to, uh, to death there and, you know, you have another opportunity. So uh, for me, I was fortunate that I made it through, had an amazing support group with my parents and friends and family, and uh, was able to play in, in the NHL uh, soon after that. So you break both of your legs. You shouldn't be playing in the NHL after that. Like you, there's no way that you should be able to get back to that. And then you have 15 year career. How do you do that? You know, talking to the doctor, uh, Dr. Ann Deuce, who put me back together again, she put two screws into my left uh, left leg here that are still in here. Uh, she said, you know, I was millimeters away from uh, severing the patella tendon. And if that would have happened, there would have been no sports at all, let alone professional sports. So I was, uh, I was very fortunate. And um, I just wanted to take advantage of every single opportunity I had. And, you know, for me on the horizon was uh, an opportunity to, to make the team uh, with, uh, with the Calgary Flames. And um, I did and really never looked back after that. Absolutely love your positive attitude. And I think that a lot of people can learn from that. So thank you for sharing that with us. This is a close one I feel type, right? Uh, you know what? I have absolutely zero to add for this shot. To the short game. <laughs> yes. How about this stance? Though? I've got yeah. your putter though in yeah. case you get on the green. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh there we go. Smooth mitts. It's got to roll in yeah. there. Come on, break in there. Oh, that's not bad. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah. All right, I'm still in this. You're all about the side hill. Yeah, downhill breaker. Not an easy leave here. But I got this new field tip, so this is going to be close. Well, that's not bad. Oh, keep come. going. Keep going. Oh! <laughs> that's Just upsetting. Not, oh. <laughs> not, no clean living. I'll give you that. Thanks. <laughs> A chance for the win. For the win. There we go. For bird. Oh, oh. Stay up. Stay up. Oh. Good putt. Well, Good with putt. that, I don't we'll even have to one. putt. Yeah, we'll yeah. give you that one. You guys can give me mine. We'll all call it pars all around, and it's just a wonderful day here at Kananaskis. What do you think? Yes, it is. That sounds good. Uh, you know, you didn't have your Tiger Woods moment there with that. Uh, no, that just need somebody to step on it a little. <laughs> it's all good. Birdie would have been nice. We're all happy still. It all comes down to the third hole. The first two are pushes. We'll see how that goes first. Let's take a break. We'll be right back here on the Pro-Am Golf Show. Cantorque is the fastest company in the bolting business. We power drivers in karting, Grand Am, NASCAR, and even run at over 385 kilometers per hour at the Indy 500. So you know we're fast. But we're not just fast, we're Canadian, and so are our tools. Made in Edmonton, we've taken everything Canadian. Beauty, durability, friendly and polite, and combined them all with our industry leading speed. Find out more at Cantorque.com. A warm welcome awaits you at the Glenmore Inn and Convention Center. 
We take pride in offering guests a choice from 169 spacious guest rooms and suites with amenities to please business and leisure travelers alike. Enjoy the superb on-site dining at the Garden Court Buffet with a wide variety of delightful dishes. And with the ability to host 1,200 people, we are the perfect spot for your next event, big or small. The Glenmore Inn and Convention Center, offering superior customer service. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here at the Kananaskis Country Golf Course with retired NHL defenseman and Calgary native, Robin Regeer. Thanks. S somewhat Calgary native. You're, wow. Well, you're, you live here now. Now. Yeah, yeah. resident of Th Calgary, that's what you say. You know well, what I mean. yeah. But I think I'm from Saskatchewan and live in Calgary, like pretty much everyone in True. In Calgary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. All right, third and final hole, let's get to it. We've got a par four, hit the big stick. You'll notice I have my hybrid on my driver. My new strategy on course management. Is that the case, or is it because you broke your driver in a practice round yesterday here? So, so I, I like the idea, but let's see if you can actually execute. Let's see. Sun's out, gun's out, too. I got serious. The sun came out. What a nice looking shot. You don't even need your driver. That's a start. Oh, who needs a driver? I like how less predictable you are, though, when you do have a driver. It's the first time we've pulled out the driver. You look like you could hit the ball a long way, doesn't it? Well, sometimes it goes a long ways, but uh, sometimes I don't know which direction. Which direction? But uh, you know what? You had a great, great shot. So let's see if I can follow that up. That is a weird sounding driver. That's a terrible sounding driver. That was a really good shot yeah, though. You hit that a long way. And it went straight. Nice shot. Thanks. Good swing. Might be through the fairway, but you need a good drive here. I do. Nice. Not bad. Stay there. Oh yeah, I'm fine there. Right All by day. the cart path. You don't have to walk very All far. <laughs> You know, with one really good shot here, you have a chance to win this episode. The whole show. That's a lot of pressure. Oh, you might have done it. Meg. That's a good shot. That's yeah, okay, that was throwing darts all day. Throwing darts. Good. You put Great the heat shot. on. Make it happen. Good. Here, I thought you've been out of practice with pressure oh, situations, oh, oh. taking a year off a of curling. Wow. I think that's pretty good. That looks like it's gimme range from here. No, that's at least 20 feet short. Oh, okay, okay. That's my hope. You've done it on the last hole. Better just get inside Mark there. There's some room there. There is some room. There's a little bit. We'll see what I can do here. Right into the sun. I can't. Go. I lost it in the sun. Oh, you did it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> oh, I can't see I it see. in the yeah. sun. Oh, well, there it is right beside the pin. This is fun. Isn't golf just a great game? You lose the cup final in 2004 with the Calgary Flames. Uh, you go on to win it in 2014 with the LA Kings. Did, did that win kind of ease the pain of the experience in 2004 for you? It, it did. It, it was, um, I, I don't think there's any other way to explain it other than uh, devastation at that point. But, you know, we also had a good team in Calgary and I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll get back there. We'll get back there and the next year is the lockout, so we miss that. And then we lose out in the first round a number of years in a row. And then you start thinking, am I ever going to get that chance again? Um, for me, it took 10 years and uh, in L.A., uh, went, went out to L.A. to, uh, to just have a chance because they had a good team, they'd won in uh, 2012, and all I wanted at that point was a chance. And for me, I was fortunate that, uh, that we did put together uh, a pretty amazing run where one of only uh, four teams in NHL history had come back from an 0-3 deficit in the first round to win against San Jose and then just kept the ball rolling after that. And finally, I had a chance to, uh, to hoist the Stanley Cup. I know that you're an educated guy and you can tell so just in speaking with you, I know that you were the Flames rep for the NHLPA 
But now you have your own company, which speaks volumes about you as well. Tell us a little bit about your company and where did you ever get the name from? <laughs> yeah, Blue Line Oilfield Rentals. Uh, surprise, surprise, being a Blue Liner uh, for 15 years, but uh, started it with uh, a couple uh, friends of mine, and uh, we've been around for 11 years. So, energy services company, and um, it's been very challenging at times, as anyone involved with the energy industry in, in Canada knows. But, um, you know, for me, I knew I needed, needed to do something after hockey. Uh, I couldn't sit around and um, I can take some of the lessons I learned with, with hockey and, and apply them to, uh, to growing a small business. There's also other uh, completely new experiences that are, for me, exciting because it's, it's something different um, in a way that you're trying to grow a dynamic small business. So um, it's been challenging, it's been a lot of hard work, but it's been very enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, we have just a little bit of golf left, so let's get back to it now. Not an easy shot. This is a very, very tough shot in golf, putting out of the rough. I feel more confident than with a wedge, though. Through the rough, through the fringe, down a hill. Yeah, into the hole. Good luck. Ooh, that's actually pretty good speed. Your line sucks, but okay. speed's great. What do you mean the line sucks? I'm like, a foot off. I'm kidding, good shot. Maybe good 14 shot. inches at the most. You know, Robin, I've been known to make a few of these every season. Well, you know, you've left yourself a couple pretty challenging putts, and you couldn't have got any closer last hole. That's right. Birdie chance. One of these needs to go in. That's a good line. Turn a little more. Oh, oh good try. Flirt every time. Yeah. This is a chance for Birdie and to win the entire episode. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, did it. Dead center. What a putt. Nicely done. Good job. I didn't want you to make it, but you, you did. You know what? I, I got to represent those uh, hockey players versus the curlers. Those so. retired players that have all yeah. the time in the world of golf. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I better be good. Yeah. Well, you took a year off curling. What's your excuse? Oh, just oh. You threw darts today, too. Mark was great. You were great. This was just that was a this good show. Was awesome. Okay, we have other things to be awarded. We have the shot of the show. And for that, I've got Susan from the golf cart people here. Susan, out of all of those shots that you saw today, which one do you think was the absolute best? Oh, my God. There are a lot of great shots today, all of you. But I would say the second hole, we thought we were going to give it to Mark, but then uh, Robin got inside of him and uh, birdied. Yet it was again. a great, great hole. That was great. Thanks very much for having us. Awesome. Thank you for coming Thanks. out. Let's take a look at that shot now. What's your swing thought? Well, you know what? Um, you put a pretty nice one out there, and uh, all I want to do is... Uh, Try to get inside that a little bit. So you're feeling the pressure is what you're saying? I am, yeah. From a curler. Oh, good swing. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's got a chance. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Nicely done. Very that was a hell of a shot. Very nice. Yeah, I got it. That was, that was Pressure's nice. on someone else now. Awesome. Robin, thank you for coming out here today. Thank you for putting up with my lack of voice and my squeaky voice and just being an awesome guest. This is great. You know what, for beer, I, I'll put up with almost oh, anything. these aren't for you. Oh, no. <laughs> of course they're for you. From Moosehead, we have some cracked canoe and some lager for you. So those are for you to enjoy uh, once you get home today. Thank Not you. all of them at once, so. Uh, I'll pace myself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming out today. We want to thank Ken and Askus for having us. What a beautiful golf course. And thank you for watching. Keep in mind, you can catch us every Sunday right here on Global and on Shaw Video On Demand at 12.30. If you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. And you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at proamgolfshow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show. I'm Meg Morrison. And I'm Mark Kennedy, and today we are freezing our balls off at the Kananaskis <laughs> Country Golf Course. I think now that you have your uh, sweater off, I think you've got at least an extra 10 extra yards. So, five yeah, for sure. Miles per hour yeah. swing speed. Oh. I'm just stuck in the middle. <laughs> okay, we're ready, John. <laughs> <laughs>